So in this problem, we're told that if a tank holds 3,500 gallons of water, which drains from the bottom of the tank in 50 minutes, then Tori Selly's law gives the volume V of water remaining in the tank after T minutes as this function here, V equals 3,500 times 1 minus 1 over 50 T squared from 0 to 50. And so what we're asked to do is find the rate at which the water is draining from the tank after the following amounts of time. Then it says remember that the rate must be negative because the amount of water in the tank is decreasing. So these numbers are going to be negative. And then we're asked what time is it flowing out the fastest and the slowest. So let's just start right here. Let's try and find uh, the rate at which the water is draining for these times. So in order to solve it, what we've got to do is find the derivative of this function with respect to time. So we have the function v equals 3500 times 1 minus 1 over 50 times t squared. And so we're going to find the derivative with respect to t of this. So let's start with this side. So if we find the derivative with respect to t of v, we'll get dv dt, which is the rate, is equal to. And then we have 3500 multiplying by this function. So it's just going to be 3500 times the derivative of this function with respect to t. So the derivative of this function with respect to t is going to be, well, what we want to do is just pretend like it's x squared, then move the 2 out front, and then we just do 2 times x times the derivative of x, but instead of x, x is going to be the inside. So this is going to be 2 times our inside 1 minus 1 over 50 times t, and then we want to multiply it by the derivative of our inside. So the derivative of our inside is, the derivative of 1 is 0, and then we have minus 1 over 50 t, and then we're taking it with respect to t. So if we have a constant in front of a t, or a variable to the 1, it's just going to be the number in front of it is our derivative. So it's going to be multiplied by minus 1 over 50. So this is going to be our function that we use, but let's simplify it a little bit more. So dv dt is equal to, if we multiply these two, 3,500 times 2, we get 7,000. And then we got to, we can also multiply it by minus 1 over 50 to simplify it a bit more. So 7,000 times minus 1 over 50 is going to be minus 140. And then we're going to multiply it by 1 minus 1 over 50 times t. And so this is going to be the function that we're going to use to solve these. But we're going to um, plug in our time for each of them, and it'll give us the rate at which it's decreasing for each time. So I'm going to erase it and then rewrite uh, this formula up top. So we have dv dt is equal to minus 140 times 1 minus 1 over 50 uh, times t. And so let's start with the first one. So we're told 5 minutes. So what we want to do is just plug in 5 for t. So dv dt is equal to minus 1 over 40, or minus 140 times 1 minus 1 over 50 times 5. And so if you take out your calculator and do this, we have minus 140 times 1 minus 1 divided by 50 uh, times 5. So if you do that, you'll get minus 126. Minus 126. And so that's going to be the answer to the first part. At 5 minutes, that's the rate at which it's decreasing. So let's do 10 minutes now. So dv dt is equal to minus 140, 1 minus 1 over 50 times 10 is equal to, so let's plug it in, minus 1 over 40 times 1 minus 1 divided by 50 times 10. If we go ahead and do that, we'll get minus 112. So that's going to be the rate at which it's decreasing for 10 minutes. So now we got to do 20 minutes. dv dt is equal to minus 140 times 1 minus 1 fi over 50 times 20. Then we got to plug it in our calculator. Minus 140 times 1 minus 1 divided by 50 times 20. So when you do that, you'll get minus 84. So that's going to be at 20 minutes, the rate we're decreasing. And then our last one is going to be 50 minutes. So minus 1 over 40 times 1 minus 1 over 50 times 50. So if you plug that in your calculator, minus 1 over 40 times 1 minus 1 divided by 50 times 50, you'll get 0. So the rate at which it's decreasing here is 0. So that's going to be the answer for these the time ones. Now we got to find out at what time is the water flowing out the fastest. So it's flowing out the fastest when its velocity is the highest number. So uh, 
when is the or yeah when it, or not when that's the highest number when it's like the biggest so like it can be minus 150 that means it's flowing out at 150 so or like whatever number it is but so in this case uh let's just start with the slowest one first so when is it flowing out the slowest well we see here at 50 minutes it's not flowing out at all so that means at 50 minutes it's flowing out the slowest so at t equals 50 it's flowing out the slowest but what about the fastest well we see that as time goes down so as we like as our time increases uh, the rate at which it um, decreases is going lower so that means at the beginning uh, it's flowing out the fastest and if you plug in zero you can see this because uh, if we plug in zero into our formula or does or in our formula here we're just going to get um, minus 140 times 1 minus 0 which is minus 140 so that's when it's flowing out the fastest minus or at zero minutes that's when it's flowing out the fastest it'll be flowing at minus 140 so yeah, these are going to be the answers to this question.